Holy Saturday Night Resurrection Service, April 7th, 2018, at the Church of St. Sozon in Manili, Athens, Greece. Now, what happens first before the service starts is that the holy fire, the holy light, which emanates from the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ, his holy sepulcher in Jerusalem, that light is brought from Jerusalem by plane to various parts of the world. And of course, also to Athens, Greece. It's taken to the Metropolitan's uh, bishopry. And from there, someone, an official from the church, from each of the churches goes of the Metropolitan, um, the Metropolis goes to the bishop's um, office in order to obtain the holy light and this is it right here we have it at the corner of our table in the narthex of the church where we light our candles and it's directly coming from christ's tomb our lord jesus christ's tomb from jerusalem now uh there's been a there is a history behind this because of the fact that it's only coming, this holy light only comes to Orthodox Christians. In the past, Catholics and Armenians have tried to obtain this holy light, and it has not come to them. Now, this is, of course, Holy Saturday, Great and Holy Saturday, the day on which Christ reposed in the tomb. The Church calls this day the Blessed Sabbath. The great Moses mystically foreshadowed this day when he said, God blessed the seventh day. This is the blessed Sabbath. This is the day of rest on which the only begotten Son of God, the Lamb of God, rested from all his works. The Vespers Liturgy of Holy Saturday, by using the title, the Church links Holy Saturday with the creative act of God. In the initial account of the creation is found in the book of Genesis, God made man in his own image and likeness. To be truly himself, man was to live in constant communion with the source and dynamic power of that image, God. Man fell from God. Now Christ, the Son of God, through whom all things were created, has come to restore man to communion with God. He thereby completes creation. All things are again as they should be. His mission is consummated. On the Blessed Th Sabbath, he rests from all his work. Holy Saturday is a neglected day in, a par in the parish life. Few people attend the services. Popular piety usually reduces Holy Week to one day, Holy Friday. This day is quickly replaced by another, Easter Sunday. Christ is dead and then suddenly alive. Great, great sorrow is suddenly replaced by great joy. In such a scheme, Holy Saturday is lost. In the understanding of the church, sorrow is not replaced by joy, it's transformed into joy. This distinction indicates that it is precisely within death that Christ continues to effect triumph. Trampling down death by death. We sing that Christ is trampling down death by death in the Traparian of Easter. This phrase gives great meaning to Holy Saturday. Christ's repose in the tomb is an active repose. He comes in search of his fallen friend, Adam, who represents all men. Not finding him on earth, he descends to the realm of death known as Hades in the Old Testament. And there he finds him and brings him life once again. This is the victory. The dead are given life. The tomb is no longer a forsaken, lifeless place. By his death, Christ tramples down death by death. There's the icon of the descendant to Hades, the traditional icon used in the church on the Feast of Easter is an icon of Holy Saturday, the descent of Christ into Hades. And as you can see, this is the icon here. Today, Hades cries out, groaning, I should not have accepted the man born of Mary. He came and destroyed my power. He shattered, he shattered the gates of brass as God. He raised the souls I had held captive. 
Glory to the cross and resur resurrection, O Lord. This is the Vespers Liturgy of Holy Saturday. On the Lord I call. The Saturday Resurrectional Stichari Tone 1 are, su tone one are sung, followed by the special uh, Holy Saturday hymns, which stress the death of Christ as descended to Hades, the region of death for its destruction. But the pivotal point of the service occurs after the entrance, when 15 lessons from the Old Testament are read, all centered on the promise of the resurrection, all glorifying the ultimate victory of God, prophesied in the victorious song of Moses after the crossing of the Red Sea. Quote, let us sing to the Lord, for gloriously he has been glorified, end quote. The salvation of Jonah and that of the three youths in the furnace. Then the epistle is read, the same epistle that is still read at baptism, Romans 6, 3, 6, 3 to 11, in which Christ's death and resurrection become the source of the death in us of the old man, the resurrection of the new, whose life is the risen Lord. And during the special verses sung after the epistle, Arise, O God, and judge the earth. The dark lentil vestments are put aside, and the clergy vest in the bright white one, so that when the celebration appears, the celebrant appears with the gospel, the light of resurrection is truly made visible in us. The rejoice with which the risen Christ greeted the women at the grave is experienced as being directed at us. The liturgy of St. Basil continues in this white and joyful light, revealing the tomb of Christ as a life-giving tomb, introducing us into the ultimate reality of Christ's resurrection, communicating his life to us, the children of fallen Adam. And one canon must say that all of services of the church that are inspiring, meaningful, revealing this one, the Vespers and Liturgy of St. Basil the Great and Holy Saturday is truly the liturgical climax of the Church. If one opens one's heart and mind to it and accepts its meaning and its light, the very truth of orthodoxy is given by it, the taste and joy of that new life which shines forth from the grave. After the priest gives the holy light from the Holy of Holies to the faithful, Everyone proceeds outside of the entrance of the church, uh, that's if the weather is not inclement and the weather was beautiful this evening, and he continues the service outside while the faithful, of course, are holding their lit candles, lit with the holy light from the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll make another video on that. It's very important for you to notice that it only comes to the Christian Orthodox throughout the ages. This is the actual holy light that was seen by the disciples of Christ that was flooding Christ's tomb at his resurrection. And uh, after this, we enter the church again in order to hold the Holy Liturgy, to receive the Holy Communion, the Holy Eucharist, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the Liturgy of Christ's resurrection of Holy Saturday towards Sunday morning of Easter Sunday. And here we see that the priest has changed into the festive garments of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The white and red ribbons hanging from the gate of the Holy of Holies say Christos Anesti, which means Christ is risen. Also you see it hanging from the chandelier in the middle of the church above the uh, icon of the uh, Christ's descent to Hades. And that again, Ribbon says, Christos Anesti, meaning Christ is risen. And here we have the great entrance of the Holy Chalice as the priest enters, makes his way to enter the Holy of Holies. Today is uh, the Saturday of the Resurrection service, and the weather is terrible. It's very, very windy. It's, it's as if April 7th, it's around quarter after 10 in the evening, in about an hour and a half, 
we will be uh, rejoicing the arrival of the Holy Flame from the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ from Jerusalem. It's flown here in the afternoon and it's distributed to various uh, bishoprics all over Greece and of course here in Athens we receive it first and someone from our church will go to the bishopry, the, metropol the metropolitan's office to receive the holy light. One of the uh, people that are officiating in the church, the uh, officials will go and receive, from each church they go and receive the holy light for their church. This is the, the light that will be distributed by the priest to the people the faithful and we each carry our little candles that we will light with the holy light with our little cups to protect the flame and this we take to our home and we try and keep it in our lamps lit as much as we can some people have it lit all year long until next Easter and I will also make a video concerning the properties of the holy light that come to the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ it's the holy light that was seen by St. Paul, St. John, the beloved disciple of Christ, St. John the Theologian, the youngest of the disciples, when they went to see the empty tomb of Christ after his resurrection. They saw a holy light, a bluish tint, a light blue tint of the holy light. Um, this is the holy light that we see many a time in our Orthodox churches. I have to tell you that uh, there have been many people that have seen this light in the churches. Uh, it's a gift from our Lord Jesus Christ to strengthen our faith. Um, uh, I know of people that have seen it coming out of the mouth of the priest when he was speaking uh, at the end of the Holy Liturgy. Uh, every single word, of course, written at the Holy Liturgy, of the Holy Liturgy, is an instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is what he gave his disciples during the time between his resurrection and his assumption, those 40 days. He was teaching his disciples what they had to do to administer the church properly. And he also, of course, gave them um, a symbol of faith, the Lord's Prayer, and also, of course, how to administer the church, how to perform the Holy Liturgy. Um, we also have various saints. The disciples wrote their own Holy Liturgies. For example, the Holy Liturgy of St. Peter, the Holy Liturgy of St. Mark, the Holy Liturgy of uh, St. James, the uh, cousin of Christ, who is the first bishop of Jerusalem. And uh, we also have... Uh, other saints that came after the disciples, St. John Chrysostom, St. Basil, have their own, have written their own uh, holy liturgies as well. Uh, they usually take about three hours. You don't have to come all the three hours, but it's beneficial if you do. You come at the last, at the end, which is an hour, which is the actual holy liturgy, lasting about an hour. Uh, today is very windy, very, very windy. Um, it wasn't windy yesterday when we had the um, litany going around the church for uh, about an hour with the uh, Holy Sepulchre of Christ, which was decorated with the, with the flowers that I sh uh, the previous video show. Uh, today is a very terribly cold and windy day. Thank goodness it's not raining because it was raining all day. So we will continue with the arrival of the Holy Flame, which will be coming I would venture in about 20 minutes. Σε 
As you can see, the church is dark because they will be opening their, their, uh, their uh, the gate, the holy gate from the holy of holies to give the holy light to the faithful. Here the cantors are um, praying and also they just finished saying the Lord's Prayer. The ladies have brought their Easter baskets with eggs and cakes, and the priest is offering holy incense to God on behalf of the faithful. Anastasis, 
Θα καείτε έτσι όμω. Θα καείτε έτσι. Θα πιάσετε φωτιά. Με το χεράκι σα πιο καλά. Δεν περάσει, δεν περάσει. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
The priest changes his vestments to put the decorative gold and uh, red vestments in order to be more festive for the resurrection service of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, 